this you is do scary. It. Here we go. We can do this. Actually, yeah, maybe I use two. Okay. <laughs> okay, Susu, so, so you help me. Susu. So, so. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna make. Ooh. Good job. Oh my god. That's it. We did it, huh? Uh, getting to know the. The ESAs has probably been one of the most life-giving experiences of my of my life. I like about them everything, you know, because they are really nice people. JD and Sarah and Ella too. And you put that away? Every time when you want every anything, they can't come when you like need something in English, they can't help you. Free, but we have a lot of laws, a lot of rules. You know, you can't cross the street unless the light is green or they can give you a traffic citation. Getting them social security cards and getting them checked out by the doctor, lab work and all that stuff. You know, addressing each individual human being and what their needs are as a human being coming here. People who are just like me and my family, but whose life get in, gets inter interrupted by this thing that's out of their hands. Ahmed was able to get the refugee process started and about two years later they're, they're able to be resettled. This is a 15 year old kid who had the responsibility of getting his family out of Syria and then uh, and working and providing for them. Every day, imagine every day shooting, bombing, all of this kind of stuff, screaming. You know, life and everything changed just like that. Sharing the life of individuals um, that are really coming out of deep um, anxiety and, and incredible trouble. Resettlement really um, touches every component of, of human life. So much better. Yeah, even the other one. Most of our refugees started working within two to three months. So at this point, all 13 families either have one or both parents working. This is my zipper. The thing about Zacharias is that he's always smiling. He goes to the airport for every refugee family that arrives, um, and he proclaims himself as the mayor of Syria, little Syria. Um, I'm a musician. So when I saw that Solene, the oldest daughter, had a guitar on her back, I was automatically excited. I was like, oh, this is so cool. There's already this possible connection there. Hey, learning Kurdish music, you know, and I'm learning American song. I want to be at those graduations. I want to be there at weddings. I want to be there um, when Ahmed opens his business, you know. Not so much complicated, so much simple. Businessman. <laughs> These next few months to help the families that are here, but also to do broad outreach into the community to let everyone know um, what what it means to be a refugee. I love to help somebody, you know. And when like we come, somebody help us. We have to pay for it. We have to help somebody else. This time. What we do right now, if you make it good, if you have a dream, if you have a goal in your life, whatever you want, nothing impossible in this life. <laughs>